I'm glad that this committee was formed. State lawmakers calling on the experience of retired California Supreme Court Justice Carlos Moreno. The people who need the, the most training are the people in power, whether they're a legislator or a judge or corporate executive. So. You know, true, true consent under those circumstances is very suspect. Legislators are working to balance fairness and justice for victims when investigating sexual harassment at the Capitol, sifting through the legal gray spectrum. What's fair really is something that uh, is not really fixed uh, in the law. It's not something that, you know, you, you, you know it when you see it. One concern, because the state capitol is insular, do lawmakers police their own peers or bring in an independent body to recommend disciplinary action? There's always a perception of bias when it comes to us voting on what happens to one of our members. And we're very tied together in terms of needing each other for votes and that sort of thing. Today's hearing the latest push in a passionate momentum to protect sexual harassment victims, beginning last fall when 147 women signed a letter now known as We Said Enough, already leading to four vacant positions in the districts of Assembly members Raul Bocanegra, Matt DeBobney, Christina Garcia, as well as State Senator Tony Mendoza. All have denied wrongdoing, but have since resigned or stepped down pending the outcome of an investigation, currently leaving their constituents and their interests without a vote at the state capitol. You know, ensure that the people continue to be represented and have a voice. At the state capitol, Vicki Gonzalez, KCRA 3 News.